Hey man, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your favorite guard, Sosa, back with another banger for y'all today. Today I got y'all with the long-awaited dribble tutorial that y'all been asking for. And y'all know this is what I do, I'm a dribble demon, and my job is to turn y'all into some dribble demons so y'all can have the greatest movement on this game. And if you're watching this video right now and you're not subscribed, bro, what are you doing, bro? Do you not want to get better at the game? This is all I do. All I do is help y'all get better at the game. So make sure you drop us up. I ain't gonna lie, I just peeped we hit 29,000 subscribers. 29,000 subscribers. You know how crazy that sounds to me. I love y'all so much and I'm forever grateful for y'all. Yeah, make sure you drop a like and a comment and don't forget to sub and let's get straight into the video. Oh yeah, and make sure you put them post notice on so you don't miss any videos I upload in the future. Because you know you want to be the first ones to see these videos so you can get out there and be the best. In today's video, I'm going to be giving y'all the best six and then I'm going to be showing you how to move like a comp guard should move now in season five. But this is not no... Beginner dribble tutorial, you feel me? This is if you already know the beginner moves, so I'm gonna teach you how to do the advanced moves like the left stick cancel, the L2 cancel, the jaw spin. You know what I'm saying? Like a bunch of moves that you probably don't know how to do, and you come in here because you need to know how to do them. If you are a beginner, I got three dribble tutorials. I will put them in the corner right now. I already dropped maybe even four or five dribble tutorials before this video. Go and watch them before you come to this video. Alright, so let's start off by showing the six. We're gonna go straight over to the animations. The first thing we're gonna see over here is the dribble style. Make sure you got Kyrie Irving on. If you're a small guard, you have a 90 speed with ball. Get Kyrie Irving dribble style. It's the fastest one. It's gonna help you do the left stick cancel way easier. For the signature size, make sure you use Steve Francis or Darren Fox. Personally, Steve Francis is better because like it, it drags a little bit more out with the Steve Francis crab than if you do the crab with um Darren Fox. But uh, they're both tough, but I, I prefer Steve Francis. Regular breakdown combo, this doesn't even matter to be honest. But I got Rafa Alston on. But you need to be starter three to get it. So for my people that's not starter three, just put on Kyrie Irving or something. For the aggressive breakdown combo, you gotta put on John Moran. This is important. For the escape moves, make sure you use. I mean, personally, make sure you use Kemba Walker. Because I feel like it's the fastest one. I see a lot of people using Trey Young. I see a lot of people using Trey Young because I don't know. I guess it's easier to L2 cancel with it. But with Kemba Walker, every move just becomes faster. Like when you're dribbling, comboing up, everything like that, it's just easier. For the combo moves, make sure you use Stephen Curry. For the crossover, make sure you use John Wall. John Wall is important because this is the one that like cuts you in so you can get an easy dunk. Uh, Jamal Murray behind the back, the fastest one. Make sure you use this one, the most explosive one. For the spin, use Jamal Murray. For the hesitation, make sure you use Chris Paul because it's going to give you that fast in and out. And for the step back, make sure you use Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry or John Wall, but in my opinion, Stephen Curry is way better. And for the motion style, I got on Darren Fox, but I've been switching a little bit. Sometimes I use Darius Garland. Sometimes I use, what's his name, Tyrese Halliburton. But right now I got Darren Fox on. I feel like Darren Fox is the best one. Alright, so go into any of these dribble courts. You can go to the shooting facility. You can go to the gym right here. Um, It's just easiest to dribble in here and easy to show how to do it. As y'all see right now. In the bottom left corner, there is the controller cam. And I know it's the black controller, and I know y'all don't like the black controller because it's hard to see the sticks move around. But I'm going to be adding arrows, so it won't be a problem for y'all. But I, I can't get the white controller to work. I don't know what's going on. The first thing we're going to go over is how to L2 cancel. The L2 cancel is the most important move in the game because you can change directions so fast, and it's just almost unguardable. Uh, it is guardable, of course, but it's probably the best move you can do in the game. You can just switch. You don't. You don't have to stop up before you do the move. You feel me? You can just instantly switch. And you can do L2 cancel with almost every move. So let's say you want to do it with the speed boost. Look like that. Want to do it with the behind the back. Look like that. Want to do it with the step back or the drag back. Look like that. You can even L2 cancel into this one. Look, look, look. See that right there? So it's gonna look like you do L2 cancel. You just come back the other way. And it's actually super simple how to do it. You see this move right here. Like let's say I'm running to the side. You see when I, if I hold L2, I'm going to get this walk right here. This walk right here is what cancels the move. The moment I hold L2, you see how it starts walking instead of running? 
you're going to be looking for that move. So you do a speed boost to one side and you hold L2. The moment you see this animation, like there, you see how he stopped up? The moment you see that, you just want to speed boost over to the other side. You want to hold it and then you want to keep holding it while you speed boost until you see the ball switch, switch hands. The moment the ball switch hand, you let go of L2 and you continue running the other way. Sometimes you go get that slow one. That's with Kimber Walker. That's the only downside by Kimber Walker. Sometimes you get that one right there. But most of the time, you're going to get the fast one. Uh, the three main moves you do with L2 is the speed boost, the drag back, and the behind the back. Uh, with the speed boost, you want to let go of L2 a little bit quicker because you're going to have to run out of it. Because if you don't, it's going to give you that right there. So the speed boost is the hardest one because you need to learn how to time it. So you still get that speed boost instead of just standing still. Because if you hold it too long, you're gonna get this but for example with the behind the back you just want to hold it until you see the animation once you see the animation you can let go of l2 this is the easiest one to do it with can't lie you also want to make sure you do it at an angle don't be running this way like a four two back don't be running too much in the front make sure you do it like follow the three point line that's how i like to look at it you see how the three point line is like kind of circled when you do it make sure you're running like in that line because if you, let's say I run too much to the side over here and I try to do it, you see how I get that? It's not gonna give me the right animation. And if you let go of L2 too quick on, for example, this one, it's gonna give you this animation instead. So you wanna make sure you hold L2 until you see the full animation. And the same thing with the step back. Make sure you see the animation first, because if you don't, you're just gonna get a step back like this. Now let me explain how to actually do it, like, all the moves and stuff but we all know how to speed boost you hold turbo flick your right stick diagonal up to the opposite ball handle so you get a crap and then you just run to the same side so let's say the ball is in your left hand you want to hold turbo flick your right stick diagonal up right and then the left stick follows due to the right right after you you don't do it at the same time because you're gonna get a real move you want to flick the right stick first get the crap and then run out of it and you just learn the timing of it and then you just hold turbo Run to the side, hold L2, and you do this exact same thing just the other, other way. Make sense? For the behind the back, you hold turbo and you flick your right stick diagonal down to the opposite ball handle. So the ball is in your right hand, you want to flick it down to the left. The ball is in your left hand, you want to flick it down to the right. Just run to the side, hold turbo, and flick your stick down. Diagonal down, of course. For the snatch back, you want to hold turbo and just flick your stick down. Just down. So you run to the side, hold turbo, flick your right stick down. Turbo on L2, flick right stick down. And if you wanna do this one, you just gotta do the Steve Francis crab first. You know, you, you know how you can do this one, right? And there's people's out of it. Steve Francis crab is basically the same as the Kimber Walker crab. You just do it without turbo. So just flick your right stick diagonal up to the opposite ball handle. Also on your right hand, you flick it up left. Also on your left hand, you flick it up right. So you hold L2 and just flick it, flick it up, diagonal up. I'm gonna get that right. And then what you gotta do from there is just do the other speed out of it. Now that we got the L2 cancelled down, it's time to get the left stick cancelled down, which is this right here. You just key switching direction with your speed boost. It's just good, you can come shift the unguardable. Because you can either, like, you can L2 into it, you feel me? And the left stick cancel, it's not only this move, you feel me? Like, you can do this with a lot of other moves. So let's say you do a, uh, explode, this one right here, right? You can key spam in this one like this. You can also do behind the back and just keep spamming it. Basically what the left stick is, the left stick cancel is basically like this right here. You see this animation right here? It's just you doing like this real quick so it looks like you speed boost to one side but you kind of cancel out by just letting go really quick. So if I go this way, yeah. Let's start off by learning the snatch back one because that's the easiest one. You just snatch back, you hold turbo, flick your right stick down to get the snatch back. The moment you've done the snatch back, you want to flick your left stick up. So like, kind of like you're moving a little bit forward. 
and then you just want to flick down on the right stick again keep on turbo the whole time see how i flick the right stick and then i flick the left stick say it one more time all turbo flick down on the right stick you can flick up on the left stick and you can flick down on the right stick again all turbo flick down on the right stick Flick up on the left stick, flick down on the right stick. Now for the behind the back left stick cancel, it's super simple. You know how to do the behind the back, you just hold turbo and flick the right stick diagonal down to the opposite ball handle. You get this one, and you just want to run to the side for a split second, so like you get this animation right here. You see how it cancels out that animation? Because the moment you get that, you can flick it back the other way. So, ball is in your left hand, you want to flick your right stick diagonal down right, and quickly just diagonal up right. Flick the left stick diagonal up right quickly so you can get that you want to flick the right stick diagonal down left after and you can keep spamming it back and forth like that now to do it with the speed boost it's a little harder because you need a little bit more like time and you got to move the sticks around a little bit more but basically what it is you do the you do the crab speed boost right the Kimber walker like this one right what you want to do is so you like cancel the animation so let go really quick so you do it one way and you stop for a second and you do it back the other way so the way you do this is you hold turbo you flick your right stick the angle up left if the ball is in your right hand so you get the crab move and then you just want to flick your left stick the angle up left so the same the exact same way you flick the right stick pick it up the angle up left with the left stick you get this animation you get it like that you feel me the practice is getting it like this so the way you really do this, you hold turbo, you flick your right stick, the angle up left, follow through with the left stick the exact same way, get this speed boost, and then immediately flick your right stick, the angle up right after, and then the left stick, the angle up left. So you want to flick the right stick up like a half a second before the left stick. So you flick the right stick, left stick, right stick, left stick, right stick, left stick, right stick, left stick, then it's just spamming it. And then once you get comfortable with it, it's just all about like when you can become shifty with it. Like I can pretend to go this way, run over this way. Pretend to go this way, run the other way. You feel me? I can go like this. People this way, left stick. You see how I can quickly left stick it like that? All about getting comfortable with it. You can also go like this and then snatch it back, run this way. See how it's just about being shifty with it. And also do like this, you feel me? And then once you get the L2 cancel and the left stick cancel down, you just start moving them together and this is where it really becomes glitchy. Then you can go over here, left stick, I mean L2 into a left stick cancel, you feel me? Let's say I'm gonna go over here. See how it's gonna look like I'm doing the L2 and then it come back to the left stick cancel. And also go like this, you know what I'm saying? Boom. You know what I'm saying like once you get the left stick and then the L2 down, it's just gonna be really glitchy. You're just gonna you're just gonna be shifty. You're gonna keep making the luck guess. Because you either go this way, or you go this way. So you gotta guess one side, you feel me? Oh yeah, I forgot to say you can also do the left stick cancel out of this move right here uh, you, you see this misdirection speed boost you get right here right you can like do it like that you see in case you don't know how to do the misdirection speed boost you hold turbo ball is in your right hand you want to flick your right stick the angle down left and the left stick the angle down right you get this move right here the ball is in your left hand you want to flick the right stick that I go down right and the left stick that I go down left so you get this move so you can spam these you know how to do that and you can just all you got to do is run to the other side so the moment you do this just hold your left stick diagonal up to the opposite ball handle you go this way right and then if you just really quick after doing it those people's the other side you can lift to cancel it that's one of my favorite moves i can't even lie then you can again get shifted with it 
And you can also do this one into the snatch back. You can do this one into the behind the back. It's just, it, it, it's, it's good to have in your bag. It's just gonna make everything so much more shifty and glitchy. Now the next move you gotta learn, it's gonna be this one right here. I, to be honest, I don't know. I think it's called the crap cancel. But it's this right here. And it's one of my favorite moves in the game because you can switch directions so quick with it and it's super glitchy. This is the move I use a lot of my combos, like just when I'm dribbling like this, you feel me? And what I like about it is you can also like go like this and then go this way. Also do it like that. I go into the Steve Francis crap with it. Like you can just get creative with it. You can also just run to the side like this. They don't expect that. And the way you do this, let's say the ball is in your left hand, you just do a crab, and then you literally just wanna like hold the left stick diagonal up to the opposite ball handle. And let's say you do the crab to the right side by holding the turbo and flicking your right stick diagonal up right. And then once you see that animation, you wanna hold your left stick diagonal up left. So basically how you get this animation right, but it's like when you do it after the crab, it like drags it over there. You just hold turbo, flick your right stick diagonal up to the opposite ball handle to get the crap. Then you hold the left stick diagonal up to, let's say the ball ends up in your right hand, you want to hold it up to the left. Ball ends in your left hand, you want to hold it up to the right. So, like that. Let's say the ball is in your right hand. Like that. Yeah, you can just spam it. Again, like I said, you can get creative with it. Now the next move I'm going to teach you is going to be the BP slide, which is this right here. See how it does like a weird speed boost, but it's actually faster than let's say you just do it like this. And if you do it the right way, you can get it like this. It's actually faster. The way you do this, let's say the ball is in your right hand, you just want to hold turbo, flick your right stick straight to the side. So ball is in your right hand, you flick it to the right. And then normally you would run out by holding the left stick like diagonal up right. You would run and get this animation right. But if you hold it like it's like let's say you want to hold the diagonal up right, and now you're just gonna hold the diagonal down right. You get that. Then the last move I got for y'all today will be the jaw spin right here. It's it, it's not really that important to know how to do. It. If you don't want to learn it, you don't have to. It's just a fun move to have in your bag. Like, let's say you like me and you like combo and all of that, right? And you just out of nowhere. Just hit him with a little... Oh, spinning. Oh, I did it wrong. It's just fun. You can also do the spin out of this move right here. Like that. And the way you do this... Hold turbo, flick your right stick. Yo, back up, man. You hold turbo and flick your right stick up. That's all you gotta do. You get this animation right here. This is a John Moran aggressive breakdown combo that I told y'all to put on. You just hold turbo and flick your right stick up. Once you see that right there, you see that animation right there? There. Hold your left stick down. Like the moment you do, the moment you get this right, you wanna start holding your left stick down. But you, but you don't want to hold it straight down. Let's say the ball is in your right hand. So it goes over to the left hand. And you want to hold it down diagonal to the right. So down here, right? And then the moment you see the animation right there, you want to flick up on the right stick. And then just keep holding the left stick. In your left hand, hold turbo, flick your right stick up, hold your left stick down to the diagonal down to the left, and you flick up on the right stick the moment you see the ball go into like that hook animation. It's 
So now you know all these moves. I showed you every single move that you need to be able to move like this. Obviously, there's some moves in here that it's just some basic moves that you want to put in with the moves. But you can find these in my other dribble tutorials. I got combo tutorials, advanced dribble tutorials, beginner dribble tutorials, all that. But yeah, you just want to go in there and get comfortable with it, get natural with it. You see how I'm just moving around like all shifty. Decide if I want to go left or right with it, all these left stick cancels, the L2 cancels, the jazz spin, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all about just being creative and learning how to create a bag for yourself. But yeah, don't don't go in here and expect to be moving like this after five minutes, you feel me? You gotta put in the work. I didn't move like this after five minutes, you feel me? I did put in my work. Still, every day I go in and dribble a little bit, just trying to see how I can make it look more glitchy than that. But yeah. If you put in the work, you're definitely gonna be able to move like this. It's not that hard once you get it down. It's actually, I can't lie, I love dribbling. It's just satisfying to me, you feel me? So I just go in here when I like, if I'm thinking about something, like if I got time to waste, I'm gonna just go in here and dribble. I can update an updated combo tutorial. If y'all get this video to 500 likes, I'll update a combo tutorial with all the, you know what I'm saying? Cause my last combo tutorial, it was the old combos. These are new combos, so let me know if y'all want that. So you made it to the end of the video and as always I really appreciate you for making it to the end. I really hope this video helped you out and if you got any questions make sure you DM any of my socials down here. I can't respond to every single one of y'all but I try to give back to as many as possible. But you got all my socials linked in the description you see them to the bottom right corner. My Instagram is linked down there too if you're trying to see what I look like. And as always I appreciate you for making it to the end. And make sure you drop a like and a comment and don't forget to sub. It don't cost you none and it helps me out way more than you can imagine. Can we get this video to 500 likes? I would really appreciate that. And again, I spend hours making this video for y'all. All y'all gotta do is for one second go down and click that like button. It helps me make more content for y'all. The more success the videos get, the more content I can bring back for y'all. You feel me? But yeah, I'll see y'all very soon in the next video. Sosa out.